Hi, this is Brett Charmette from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a test up to a requirement in Doors Next Generation. Now the test is created inside of our test management tool. First, what you're going to want to do is navigate to where you have the requirement that you want to connect up to a test. After this, go over to this left hand side here and click on the configure page settings button. From this drop down here, scroll down and click on validate by. If you don't see validated by in this window, all you need to do is click on more. And from the window that pops up, you can either scroll through this and look for validated by, or if you use the search box right here, we can add it here as well. I'll just click on OK right there. And then this will take just a second to load. And now we have the attribute that shows, hey, what tests are connected up to what requirement. But to actually add a test here to connect it up to a requirement, all we need to do is mouse over the uh, pen icon here. If you do not see the pen icon, you will need to go and set the artifact type to be allowed to have validated by links. And since I already have that all set up, all you need to do is click on that pen icon and click on add link. This window will pop up here and you may need to select what container your tests are located in and also what component they are in as well. But I'm just gonna scroll down here and select a couple of tests that I wanna connect up to this requirement. I can click on okay. And now we can see the tests have been added to the requirement. And if we wanna actually jump into the test and take a look at it, all we need to do is go in and click on it and we will be taken directly to where it is inside of IBM's engineering test management. And we can see over here that it validates this requirement. And to get back to that requirement in Doors Next, we can either mouse over it and get a rich hover. That's a little window within a window here. Or if I click on it, I can be taken directly back to where it lives inside of Doors Next Generation. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below.